What's up, everybody? It's your host, Kia Flo, and you were tuned into episode 10, a whole 10, y'all, of WKFLO's Rhythm Release, where the flow just don't stop. You know it don't stop. Uh huh. Thank you all for coming back. Thank you all so much. It is much appreciated. I uh, want to say thank you to YouTube and Spotify and Anchor for providing the platform and just to everyone that streams, shares, likes, comments, follows, all of that. Subscribe. It really is appreciated and that's why I'm going to continue to say it. But I'm just so excited. I had to hurry up and get this episode out so that I can get the next episode out because that's my episode. Why that's my episode? (laughs) Y'all know what season it is. It's Libra season, okay? My birthday is right around the corner and I am so excited. I don't know what for. All I'm doing is getting older. I don't know what for, but I guess because, you know, I cannot wait to meet 40-year-old Kia. Hopefully her locks are just so gray and luscious and just flowing down the small of my back. I just can't wait to meet her. So, yeah, I'm four, four years away from it. I don't like when other people say it, but, you know, sometimes you just got to come to grips with it and that's all right. But right now, before we get to the next episode, we're going to get on this one right here. Episode 10, I got an amazing show for you all packed with some great music that is handpicked by me. You know, you know what I'm saying? And uh, hopefully, you know, you all enjoy it. I take pride in my playlist because I take the time and think of the songs or research songs and make sure it's in a particular era that I'm looking for. This particular one, um, we are touching the 70s through the early 2020s. Yes, indeed. Um, So we're giving the 50s and 60s a rest this episode, but you know, it's all good because we're going to get back to them because you know, I got to keep what? (laughs) Giving it to you. You know, here we play nothing but the hits from the then and the now, and I just want to stick to that. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and... Mm, excuse me. I was I was just so ready. I saw the time. I was like, I don't know though. You know, I normally talk a little longer. Um, I ain't get a chance to tell y'all that y'all know y'all getting y'all history on this day in black music history. Oh, most definitely. And then our highlight. I was just about to get all into it and ain't even our highlight for this show is um Mr. George W. Johnson. Now, if you don't know who he is, I am super excited to be able to be the one that y'all can say, oh yeah, I learned that from Kia on Kia show. I learned that on Kia show. Kia show. <laughs> I, um, I, I am happy that I can uh, give you some knowledge, you know. And uh, for those of you who already know about him, you know, if you know anything that I do not touch when I go over his life, be sure to put it down in the comment section. I love to go back and forth with individuals as well as the Facebook group, WKFLO Rhythm Release. Uh, We have been getting a little conversation uh, started. I appreciate everyone there just doing their part to show their support for me. I really appreciate it. Y'all gonna see me grow, okay? Y'all gonna see me grow. Um, Now, now we will get into this episode's music and we're starting in 1971 with the Undisputed Truth Smiling Faces Sometimes. (laughs) What you know about it? Y'all can tell me about it when we come back. Y'all uh, tune in and listen up. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release, where the flow just don't stop. I'm always 
is adjusting something soon as I hit record. That's the funny part. <laughs> um, but, and look, I did put on some eyeliner, hook flying running. It's all good. We keep it real over here, you know? I ain't do too much today because I ain't got time. You know, sometimes I do trust and believe the next episode. Oh, don't worry about it. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, did y'all enjoy those? <laughs> Starting us off uh, was Smiling Faces Sometimes by The Undisputed Truth. Again, that one came out in 1971. And that one you just heard, I've been meaning to get this song on my own series for a while. And I wanted to wait till I got some vinyl. So my vinyl came in today. Shout out to the dude I purchased it from. This is the only one I bought. It was only selling it for a dollar. This right here? Whatever. Anyway, so he gave me this one and another one of her albums, which came out in 1978. I believe it's self-titled Melba Moore. She's a, a beast. Uh, and anybody who know anything about music, I know you know by Miss Melbourne Moore, but this particular album I stumbled across. Rest in peace to Aunt Gertrude and Uncle Johnny. They had us cleaning out their garage or something, a room one day, and they had crates and crates of cassette tapes, and we were going through them, and of course they were all old school, and this is like in the early 90s, but this one, that particular album, along with a Bobby Blue Bland album, and a new additions album were the three cassettes that we took home. And so it has a nostalgic feel for me and I definitely had to get it. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. Don't go away. That's on that album. Came out in 1982. I love the beat. I love the groove. I love the melody. But yes, <laughs> what y'all doing on this fifth day of October? It's cooling down in certain areas. Some of y'all, where I'm from, still get the sun. Be hot all the way on Christmas Day. Child, we ain't gonna go there. Here in North Carolina, we get all the seasons, though. But your girl has learned over the years. I've been here, what, eight years now? Yeah, eight years. I, I figured out the winter. When you go out and layer up, but other than that, stay behind in the house and have that heater crank all the way up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, then. Um, like I said, we are going to highlight uh, George Johnson, George W. Johnson. So we're going to get into this next cut uh, for you all. And when we come back, we will cover the life of George W. Johnson. So y'all tune in and listen up. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release with the flow. Just don't stop. It's your girl Angela, and I'm going with the flow with WKFLO Rhythm Release where the flow just don't stop. And I have a special request I want to dedicate to my husband, Carl. We're celebrating our first anniversary, October 3rd, and we're celebrating all month long. So, Kia, please play All True Man by Alexander O'Neill, because my husband is my all true man. Thank you. Glad you came back. <laughs> yes. Did you enjoy that one? If you're listening on Spotify, you already know uh, why that one came into play. But for everybody that's late to the party, uh, that one is dedicated to Mr. Smith from Mrs. Smith, my homegirl, Angela. She, they, 
just celebrated their one year anniversary, October 3rd. And so although it's the fifth, like she said, they are celebrating all month. I wish y'all nothing but the love and success and joy and happiness and even the the thunderstorms that a relationship can bring just as long as we know how to weather those things and come through. Y'all look goals. Y'all know I'm right around the corner. Whenever her year come around, I know my year coming around. So uh, one time, um, happy anniversary to them. And anybody else celebrating the anniversary? You know what I'm saying? If you got a dedication, I already got the link in the YouTube video. But I'll make sure I put it in the, uh, right here that um if you want to leave a link so that you can be heard on this national syndicated podcast don't tell nobody i say it that but that's the manifestation up in this thing tell everybody um send me a link and i'll be sure to put it on on there anytime and also i have my jingle going with the flow going with the flow i got that one too now y'all listen y'all missing i got the same four people in rotation because they the only ones that i'm putting through you can be spotlighted on this you know but um yeah so that was that glad i was able to be a part of that and uh we're gonna go ahead and get into the highlight of mr george w johnson now before i get into him i wanted to talk about why he is even being highlighted and that's because i wanted to know who was the first artist to record a song and his name popped up now based off of what i have been reading it isn't concrete that he is the first black recording artist but he is the first known and successful black recording artist and i was reading an article on npr that covered this back in 2008 and the individual that was being interviewed said something that was very important and he said when you're talking about these first when it comes to recording, there are a few firsts that have to be considered. Uh, you have uh, Leon Scott, who was the first person he invented. Oh, y'all, I'm going to put the name on the screen, but it was the machine in my phone. I'm using that. You know what? I got to do better. Anyway, he was the first one to create a recording as apparatus that allowed you to read the sound signals. He was not very concerned about hearing the sounds recorded, but being able to read them. And that is where Thomas Edison was able to benefit because he created the first uh, recording apparatus that allowed you to hear the sounds recorded. And so from there, inventions were made uh, and all of this started in 19 in the 19 excuse me in the 1860s and so this first recording artist comes after that and this is where we get into George W. Johnson um he was born October 29th in 1846 in Virginia um born into slavery during the reconstruction Johnson moved north eventually settling in New York through the 1870s and 80s, he led a precarious existence before beginning a career as a recording artist. Given the date around 1889, it is highly probable that Johnson was the first African-American to make records. The date also explains why the material he recorded in the early 1890s, much of which came from minstrelly, and was often racist in content and style. Excuse me, I got, <laughs> I stumbled like a mug right there. Um, then it says, measured by the standards of the day, however, it was what the public wanted, indeed expected. That said, Johnson's first recording featured his whistling. Songs for which Johnson was noted are Listen to the Mockingbird, The Whistling Coon, 
the Laughing Coon, and the Laughing Song, all of which are included in the 2005 collection, uh, Lost Sounds, Blacks, and the Birth of the Recording Industry. Uh, it says 1891 through 1922 and is available with a book of the same title. Uh, in common with other early recording artists before the technique of mastering was developed, every cylinder made was separately recorded, thus a taxing effort was needed. This was somewhat alleviated if four or five recording horns could be aimed at the singer and his vocal sound was strong enough to be recordable. Uh, Johnson's sales of all cylinders recorded in this manner reach some 25,000 copies by 1894. He made disc recordings from 1895 for several companies. In addition to his recordings, Johnson also appeared on stage in vaudeville theaters, and this was where he met Lynn Spencer, with whom he made some records. He was also employed by Spencer first as his valet and later as doorman at Spencer's Lyceum Theater in Manhattan. Johnson's death came from natural causes, notwithstanding reports of a violent end that were perpetuated for many years. Um, that is a short snippet or brief look into what the life of George W. Johnson was about. That article came from allmusic.com. But again, I was interested in who was the first recording artist. Now, I probably can understand why his music is not widely known, especially some of the titles. And as I read, it was considered to be men, like a minstrel uh, show. And um, we probably can name many modern day artists that fall under that same stereotype uh, when it comes to the music that they portray. Nonetheless, he still created history. And apparently he had a voice strong enough to do it. Uh, I heard that you had to yell into <laughs> those cylinder cones or whatever it was that they used. those cones. You had to yell into them so that they can pick up your sound. So we've come a long way. We really have. But that's the life of George W. Johnson. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, if you have anything to add to that, be sure to put it in the comment section on YouTube. We're going to uh, go ahead and get the show moving right along. We're going to stop right in the early 2000s, right at 2000 with That Other Woman by Changing Faces. Y'all tune in and listen up and come back. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release. Weather Flow. Just don't stop. There I go again with my eye. <laughs> what y'all drinking on? This is pink Moscato Sangria. See, what had happened was I had a cookout back in May. This, this that I'm drinking is from that cookout back in May. <laughs> Baby, one time. Won't he do it? Throw a cookout and see how much liquor you get. Or anything. The only thing that I didn't have left over was food. And that I was thankful for. That I was definitely thankful for. But uh, did y'all enjoy those? Hey. I mean, but did you? Starting us off, uh, That Other Woman by Changing Faces came out in 2000. I used to love that song. 
I think I was like in the ninth grade when that came out. And then we have I'm Gonna Love You Right by John Brown. I don't know if many might remember that one. I used to love that one when it came out in 2010. You know, your girl was starting a new chapter in life, baby. Mm. Let me tell you about it, but it's on there go hard. It always will. I love the beat too. But um, let me go ahead and get y'all y'all history lesson because I know y'all been waiting on it. On this day in black music history, October 5th, the number one R&B song in 1959 was Poison Ivy by the Coasters. Hey, okay. Uh, and then born October 5th was Arlene Smith of the Chantel. She was born 1941. I also saw that Bernie Mac as well as Brooke Valentine were celebrating a birthday. I went on the famous birthdays. A lot of them other people I do not know. But happy birthday to everyone celebrating a birthday October 5th and this month. But you know it's Libra season. So, okay. Um, some other things that happened. Let's see here. 1985, comedian Eddie Murphy charted with Party All the Time, the dance novelty classic written and produced by Rick James, reached number two pop and number eight R&B. And then 1995, the Wu-Tang Clan, Mary J. Blige, Jodeci, Salt and Pepper, Run DMC, and the Notorious B.I.G., among others, performed in an all-star show at Madison Square Garden in New York. Come through 1995. And let me see, I, I, I uh, skipped some other years because I feel like I have covered some of these people. But let's see here. Uh, 1963, the Impressions charted on their way to their biggest hit, when It's All Right reached number one R&B and number four pop. The group created the song backstage at a Nashville concert, and that was in 1963. So those are a few things that happen on this day in Black music history. Hopefully you all enjoyed this show and everything that I had to bring to it. I did want to give a YouTube shout out to Celebrity Underrated and this always happens to me because I'm, I'm usually doing it on the fly. I believe it's real reality gossip. They do some great in-depth stories about people's lives. They love lives and relationships and such like that. So I like that channel. And Celebrity Underrated, he does a lot of the, you know, unfortunate, uh, untimely deaths of uh, people in the music and entertainment industry. And he also has these other segments where he does like strange sort of deaths i mean i don't want y'all to you know think i'm crazy because i'm interested in that stuff but you know how you be watching something and they be like oh yeah she died and you be like how she died like the girl from brownstone it's still people that don't know she died and she died such a horrific death that i'd be side on that thing like hmm hmm but anyway, we ain't going to get on that. If y'all want to know more about that, go to Celebrity Underrated. He does a good video about it. But um, that's all I have. I just want to, again, thank you all for tuning in, listening, um, subscribing, sharing. Be sure to give my videos a thumbs up if you're on YouTube. Make sure you follow me on Spotify as well as YouTube so that you're up to date. On YouTube, I believe they have a notification button that you can hit. And if you want to be notified whenever I upload something make sure you select all um and what else did I have anything that I wanted to no I don't think so I really don't I'm just I may have some more for y'all for the next episode because that's my episode oh be on the lookout for uh, afterthoughts y'all know that I do at afterthoughts after every five episodes um I have to um, go through my videos again and write this time I'm going to write down the things that I want to talk about on Afterthoughts and then that's what we do I just do a rundown of my episodes there there's a lot of stuff that I have said wrong a lot of corrections that I have needed to make 
and I am not above doing that. And so I created another series to where I can do that. And it also allows other people on other platforms just to get a little taste of what we do here at Rhythm Release. I do have a lot of great things that are in store with this channel. So please just be sure to, you know, just keep giving me a thumbs up. I, I have been, you know, getting a boost in my subscriptions. I always say that it makes me happy. So uh, whatever you all are doing or whatever it is I'm doing, it's working. But um, listen, I'm just here to put a groove in you. I have no control over what you go out in this world and do. But as long as the moves made benefit more than just you, don't be afraid to allow the music in your heart to supersede you. Now, when it's all said and done, the patient will have the last laugh, while greed and grief will knock the impatient off of their path. You see, money didn't come into circulation when it touched their hand. So what's destined for you and me can't and won't be stopped by no man. I am your host, Kia Flo. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release. We are going to end this show out in 2021 with my girl Ari Lennox with her new song, Pressure. Hopefully you enjoy it. Be sure to come back next episode. We going to party <laughs> like it's 1985, y'all. Hey, y'all, this is WKFLO Rhythm Release with the flow. Just don't stop.